what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel it is another beautiful but hot day here in arkansas you are tuning in to outdoors with creed and today's video uh is going to be sponsored by bucked up and this month's monster bass first of all bucked up bucked up is a supplement company i've been working with them for a couple of years now um I drink their supplements before I go in the gym and get any kind of workout. Even if I'm going to go outside or jump on a treadmill, do some running, I always drink their pre-workouts as well as their uh, BCAAs and their protein shakes. They also have great stuff for, you know, other vitamins and supplements. Uh, one of my favorites is their cognitive creamer that you can put in coffee or any of your favorite beverage, but I like to put it in my coffee. Uh, the mornings that I use it, I feel like I'm just, I'm ready to go. Uh, for me, I, I would say it's like a brain fever. It gets my brain ready to go, think about things, kind of work I need to do, get stuff knocked out. Um, you know, on top of all their other, like I said, supplements that they use for workouts, they've also got great clothes for when you're in the gym, lounging around, out for a run. Uh, today, I'm drinking their Bust Up Outdoors. Uh, this one is a drink that uh, I would say that you would drink if you're about to go outside and play some sports. So if you and your buddies are about to go play a pickup game of basketball, soccer, football, anything like that, um, I drink it whenever I'm out doing yard work. Uh, whenever I take a break, I'll drink this because uh, it's, it's kind of like a pre-workout, but not exactly. It's more for me of a hydrating drink. Um, I use this, like I said, when I'm out doing yard work and it's hot like it is today. I go in, drink this, and I feel like it rehydrates me and then I'm ready to get back out and finish my yard work. Uh, you know, Bucked Up is a great, great supplement company. They actually just came out with a new product actually called Bucked Up IV. So it is another good hydrating drink for when you're out doing a lot of stuff. Drink that after your... Uh, whatever you're out doing, rehydrate your body, replenish your electrolytes and stuff. That way you don't pass out in all of this heat. And it's just a good way to overall take care of your body, which is the end goal, you know, in your fitness journey or whatever you're doing is to take care of your body so you can stay here on earth and enjoy a lot of these good things that we do. So check them out. I'll leave the link down below, buckedup.com. Uh, if you use my code, CREED25, I believe you save 10% on your entire purchase. So you can either click the link or just go to buckedup.com, use my code CREED25, save you 10%. Now, let's jump into this month's Monster Bags. One second, please. Oh, that was good. They have some great flavors. So, this month's Monster Bags, this is July. We are in the middle of the summer. It's hot. Uh, where I'm at, it's hot. So the fish have moved off of their beds. They're no longer protecting beds and stuff like that. They have moved back out deep. Uh, if you do find some up shallow, they will probably be tucked into some thick cover. So you're going to need something to get into that cover and, and show the fish something that they haven't seen a whole lot of. You know, everybody has seen your traditional Texas rig, whether you're throwing that on fluorocarbon or you're throwing that on braid and you're flipping it, you got that big flipping stick, they've seen that with your favorite plastic. Uh, we're about to show you some stuff that some of you have probably seen, but now Monster Bass is bringing it to you at a great price and uh, something a little bit different. So, you know, you're, you're probably going to get you a couple, two or three extra bites because it is a little bit different. So let's just go ahead and jump into this. So, to start us off, we dig down here first. So, we have a card, $10 gift card for Monster Bass. Uh, whenever you get your subscription box, you'll get one of these gift cards. It comes with a code that you can use so anytime you're buying something on monster bash you get ten dollars off of that gift card uh 
$10 gift card on orders over $25 or more. So if you're buying something $25 or more, use that code on the gift card to save $10 on that on that purchase. So there's that. Of course, as always, you get your Monster Bass sticker. This one is the Bass Hick sticker with the grenade. I believe we've gotten these before, but hey, you can never go wrong with too many stickers. Uh, this is the Monster Bass Fishing Tournament. If you go to Fishing Chaos, download that app, search for Monster Bass, register and use the code that comes on this card and it waives the $25 entry fee and I'm pretty sure whenever you go on there it explains all the rules to you and how the tournaments, uh, the tournament format, how it is. So that's a good thing. You have your golden ticket. On Thursdays, uh, Monster Bass does a live video on YouTube. If they call out your number, you win all kinds of gear, gift cards, and some more. So you might even win a fishing trip with one of the uh, Monster Bass pros. So that's a good thing to always have. And now we're going to get into the goods. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say we're going to start off with this one. So we have a Buckeye half ounce football jig, color green pumpkin. So again, like I said, those fish are going to be out deep. So this is a good lure to throw and you drag it along the bottom and catch some good fish, some really big fish. I've seen a lot of tournaments won on jigs. I believe 2000, I believe 2017 when uh, Jordan Lee won his first Bassmasters Classic, uh, he had some engine problems with his outboard, so he was pretty much stuck in one spot. He could only go at idle speed, so he was stuck in one spot, and he won that tournament throwing a football jig in that one spot, so never sleep on the football jig. So that's one lure. Again, um, these lures are compared to your more, I guess you say more popular or high demand lures that you would find on Tackle Warehouse. So if you're wanting to know how much you're saving with this, this is a $35 subscription box that will come to your house every month. You're paying $35 for this box. But if you were to look up all of these lures uh, on Tackle Warehouse, you would see how much you are saving by buying this subscription. So uh, in this booklet here that Monster Bass has been putting together, it tells you how to fish those lures and where to fish them. So take a peek through here real quick, see if we can find that uh, jig, and see what they're saying about it. So here we go. Humps, ledges, points, rocks. Those are the best spots to fish this lure. It also shows water depth on the bottom. Suggested uh, gear, 7.6 medium heavy fast action rod. 17 pound fluorocarbon, 7.3 to 1 gear ratio. With that gear, the 7.6, that rod will get you nice long cast because you want to be able to cast that lure out there and then slowly drag it back to the boat. That fast action tip is, uh, that's going to help you feel every little uh, rock that you hit, every stump, everything that you're hitting is going to be able to telegraph that back to you through the rod action on what you're hitting down there. Also helps you detect those bites from a long distance so that way you're not missing fish. Uh, the 17 pound fluorocarbon that's just that good all you know in between line size to where you can make those long casts without any kind of difficulties but strong enough to where you can bite those fish all the way back to the boat. Uh, 7 3 to 1 gear ratio I would say that's that high medium range in the reels to where if you need to you know get that that lure back to you you can take up that line really fast but then also when you go to set those uh set the hook you want to take up that slack so as you're dragging and you feel that thump you want to be able to point that rod back towards your lure but then take up that slack so when you set the hook you get a good hook set good penetration to really drive that hook in so and uh, that is about it on that. Also, uh, they suggest pairing that up, the jig, pairing that up with this uh, Gary Yamamoto's flapping hog. It 
it's a uh, it's a cross style bait that would pair up good with this plus the color is crushed perch so with this green pumpkin jig and then that color they would pair up perfect so that's another good thing about monster bass they always seem to pair up lures whether you have the uh, jig heads or net heads or anything like that they always pair them up with some type of a net lure and then when it comes to jigs they always seem to pair those up with some kind of soft plastic that pairs up really really good Okay, now I'm gonna shift a little bit to uh, this crankbait. This is the Monster Bass Seeker 12. It dives down eight to 12 feet. It's two and a half in length, half ounce in weight. So that color is Bonita Perch. Okay, never heard of that color, but. Let's see, what do we got on that? All right, so for this one, it says best places to fish, humps, brush piles, riprap, points, docks, rocks, and trees. Uh, suggested gear for this, eight foot glass or composite rod with parabolic bend and slow action tip, 14 pound fluorocarbon, 6.3 to one gear ratio bait caster. Uh, again, you want a fairly long rod. That's why they suggested the eight foot uh, glass. And that's to, again, you're making long casts. You're out in the middle of the lake probably. So you need to make long casts to get that lure away from the bait. Uh, 14 pound fluorocarbon. Uh, again, you're fishing out deep, but you do still want to keep in mind, the heavier you go in your uh, poundage, on your, your, your fishing line, the, the heavier you go, the shallower your crankbait will run, uh, run. The lower you go in your test poundage on your fishing line, the deeper that crankbait will dive down. So they're suggesting for this one, it dives down eight to 12 feet. So 14 pound fluorocarbon should get your bait down to that depth, but you can go down on the size a little bit uh, to get a little bit deeper. Just keep in mind that you are sacrificing uh, that test poundage which could put you in a spot to potentially break off. So just keep that in mind when you're spooling up your reels to fish this lure. Uh, this one, I would say throw it out there and you'd want, you don't want to get hung, but you do want to bang this off of some of the structure down there. Uh, normally when you bang a crankbait, then it will hit it and deflect. And as it's rising up, that's usually when you get those strikes. So you want to be mindful of that and what they mean by a good parabolic bend if you take your rod i should have got a couple of them out but i didn't uh, if you take your rod and you're holding your lure if you got a treble hook lure please be careful so you don't hook yourself pull on the lure you see how that rod bends over that's what they mean when they say a parabolic bend meaning it almost bends over completely the reason you would want that is so when those fish surge down you want a rod that's gonna give, so that way they don't pull and you have too stiff of a rod and then your line breaks. Because one of them's gotta give. Either your rod's gonna break or your line's gonna break. And seeing how that rod is a little bit tougher than that line, that line's gonna be the first thing to go. So if you've got a rod that's got a good parabolic bend to it, then it's gonna give a little bit more. So when those fish surge, the rod's gonna bend which is gonna keep those fish pinned with the hook and that way you can get them back to the boat. Okay, uh, next one, we're gonna stay with the crankbaits but we're gonna move up a little bit. Uh, this is the Thunderhawk lure and it is a square bill, 7 16th ounce. Uh, this is a little bit different design of a square bill. See that? Most square bills have a, a normal crankbait shape and then a normal bill Except the bill is more squared. See how like this one has a more of a rounded bill. That bill, I don't know if y'all can see that in the package there. That one has more of a square bill. But it's the bill comes straight off of the head, which is a little bit different design. So I'm interested in seeing how that runs, being a little bit of a different design. Uh, this one is suggested you throw it around humps, brush piles, rip wrap points 
docks, rocks, and trees. Uh, suggested gear for the rod, 7-2 medium heavy composite rod with a parabolic bend or slow action. 20 pound fluorocarbon, 6.2 to 1 gear ratio. So now you've slowed down your, your reel speed from the Seeker 12. You've shortened your rod from an 8 foot to a 7-2 and you've actually went up in your test pattern. So again, because you're throwing this around a little bit more cover, you want a, a fishing line that's going to be a little bit more abrasion resistant around this cover and something that's going to be a little bit tougher, a little bit stronger fishing line. You're fishing shallow, so uh, this one is called Sh Clear Chartreuse. Uh, let's see here, dives down three to five feet. So, I mean, your, your fish is shallow, real shallow with this. Um, probably parallel in the bank, or like I said, you're coming down a stretch, and you're hitting the sides of the docks, uh, throwing around brush piles and stuff like that. So, you want something that's going to be able to withstand a lot of that abrasion that it's going to get from rubbing up against the docks, the brush piles, the trees, the rip wrap, all of that stuff. Uh, be mindful when you're fishing those type of lures and you're hitting that cover. Um, I would say every six to ten casts, you probably want to cut and retie to make sure you don't have any nicks in your line because that's all it's going to take is you having a bunch of nicks and stuff in that line. You hook that one big one and break off and that's going to ruin your day. So be mindful about that and I would do that with any lures that I fish. You know, after so many casts or after you've caught so many fish, it'd probably be a good idea to take a minute to retie your lure. But uh, that's what we got for the Thunderhawk square bill. This is called their A-10. Let's see here, it is three and a half inches long, seven sixteenths of an ounce in weight, and it has number four hooks. I have not really learned the whole hook deal on upsizing or downsizing hooks when it comes to lures that have trebles. That's probably gonna be something that I need to work on here in the near future. Next, we have a dual hardcore. This is a Japanese lure, it is a floating, so now we're top water. Now we're on some top water fishing. Uh, this is basically a prop bait, except most props will, uh, most prop baits have the prop in the front or in the tail, you know, doubles. This one only has it uh, on the tail, but it also has a lip on it, like a crankbait. So I'm guessing you could either work this like a prop bait, with just kind of small twitches to work that prop, or slowly retrieve it in like you would a crankbait. It's also uh, ribbed, so it probably would work like a glide bait as well. Uh, a lot of the stuff on this is in Japanese. Let's see here. It is 105 millimeters long, and it comes in at one eight or one ounce. Um, the front hook is a number four hook, and the rear hook is a number four. Hook, so they're all the same. Let's see what we got here in the book. Maybe the book can explain a little bit more for us. So, it says throw this around grass, humps, ledges. Throw it out in open water. Rip wrap, points, rocks. I mean, you can throw this thing in a lot of places. Uh, suggested uh, gear, the rod, a 7.3 composite rod with parabolic bend and slow action. 30 pound braid, 6.31 gear ratio. So, again, a uh, good composite rod or parabolic bend in the rod. Uh, that way you're loading up because, again, you're dealing with treble hooks. You want something that's going to give a lot of bend into it, a lot of give, because with those treble hooks, they can rip out real easy. So you want something that when those fish either surge down or maybe, you know, take off down the side of your boat, something that's going to give and bend, give you time to move around on the boat but keep those fish pinned so you don't lose them. Six three to one gear ratio, you know, you want to slow it down. You don't want to be real fast with it. You want to slow it down so it can, with the current and stuff, will give that tail some good action to it and also get those props going. You don't want to go too fast to where you overwork this loop. So, uh, I have not fished glide baits or anything like that, so this would be a lure that um, 
I guess I really do need to get out and try to throw these. I hear people catching fish a lot of times on glide baits and stuff. I just haven't thrown them. So I guess I'm gonna have to tie this on and give it a try. Okay, and now we are about to get into what this month is really about. So like I said, we need to show these fish a little something different when you're fishing your soft plastics, okay? And for this setup, there are two different ways you can set this thing up. So, so here we go. This month, uh, I don't even know how to really say it, but here we go. We are talking about the Tokyo rig. Monster Bass is bringing you a Tokyo rig setup. Uh, let's see here. This thing is telling me uh, Monster Bass, right, 72, weight, medium, heavy, right hand, lips left, drafted, made 215. Okay, so I'm not sure what all of that is about. These are the Monster Bass Terminal Tackles, so you get a thing of Monster Bass weight that are 3 8 ounce, and the Monster Bass Tokyo Rig Setup. And to fish these, they gave us a pack of the Gary Yamamoto's, uh, what I say these are, Flapping Hogs, and a pack of Z-Man Helicross. This is a three pack, uh, green pumpkin, so you could probably pair these up also with that jig that we talked about earlier. Oh, I'm dropping stuff. Uh, okay, so here's what we got. I'll read this stuff to you first. Okay, so this first setup that I'm gonna read, uh, read to you is going to be if I was fishing this on my Texas rig setup that I have spooled up with floor cart. Okay, or actually, okay, so, rod, 7.3 to 7.6, medium heavy power, fast action rod. Your line, 20 pound fluorocarbon or 50 pound braid. Your reel, 8.3 to 1 gear ratio, okay? I would say that is if you are looking to make cast with this. You're, you're actually casting it out, okay? The second setup, is flipping and pitching. This is if you are close quarters, you know, where you normally have your flipping setups with your braided line, big rods and everything, your flipping sticks. Seven, six to eight foot, heavy power, fast action, bait casting rod. Your line, 25 pound fluorocarbon or 65 pound braid. Your reel, 8.3 to one gear ratio. Again, that's if you're flipping into heavy cover and you're trying to hurry up get that lure out of there so you can make another flip into that cover. The first setup, like I said, is if you are, again, you're flipping, but you're not flipping heavy cover, so you're probably fishing with fluorocarbon or the braid, but uh, what was the gear ratio? So same reel. So again, you want to make a cast, get it into a spot, hop it a few times, and then you want to hurry up and get it out to make another cast or another flip to another target. Okay, so what you would do, is I believe these have the uh, saber tooth hooks, the monster bass saber tooth hooks. So what you would do is tie your line to that swivel right there. That's where you would tie your line. I'd probably just do a regular old Palomar knot and just you know be done with it at that. And then this piece here, I don't know if you guys can see that, I can't mess it up anymore. But you take this and you slide your weight on there. But now, make sure I do this right. I don't want to tell you guys the wrong thing. So, yeah. So. What you would do is take your weight and you want to go, I'm going to say the butt end first, flat side first, okay? You want the 
head or point of your bullet weight pointing up. And then you would take some pliers and you would bend this rod down to hold that in place so that it doesn't come off. So that is how you would set it up. You put your soft plastic on there. Um, I would probably say crawl style baits, maybe some beaver baits, uh, whatever your favorite plastics are, beaver styles, crawls, anything like that. And then you would fish it the same way. What makes this different from your traditional Texas rig is now when this is in the water, your weight is on the bottom of your hook and your bait is suspended or floating above the weight. So think of it almost as like a very, like a micro uh, drop shot. So that's what you would be doing. You would do your normal Texas rig, your bait. This looks like a three odd hook. So you would do your normal Texas rigging, put your soft plastic on there and do your normal Texas rig. But then now when you're pitching that out there, you have the weight hitting the bottom and your lure is suspended above. It gives the fish a little bit something different, something that they haven't seen before as far as that lure actually being uh, suspended off of the bottom of the, of the, the bottom of the lake. And, you know, again, it's just a different look. Sometimes you can go through an area, and you've fished it a certain way with a certain lure, and you might have gotten one or two bites, and then a simple change in plastic colors, plastic size, that would make the difference. So, if you're going down a stretch, and you have, let's say you've flipped in there, your normal straight shank, flipping setup you haven't got any bites try this and just switch it up because now you have the weight sitting on the bottom your bait is suspended above that and that's a different look and fish might actually react to it a little bit more and you get a couple more bites so try that the next time um, you're out fishing you also should really try monster bass get you a monster bass Description. Uh, like I said, $35. You pick the region that you live in, so that way when Monster Bass send these baits out to you, you're getting baits that's going to work for your region. You're not going to be living here in the south like I am, and then you're getting lures and stuff that's going to work in California, or it's going to work up north in Michigan. I'm getting lures and setups that is going to work for me in the region that I'm fishing in. So that's probably the best feature with monster bass is everything is tailored to your region if you get the regional box if you get the national box then you're probably going to get lures that based on the time and the season you should get lures that should be working you know generally anywhere during that particular season i've got the regional box 35 dollars a month i get baits that should work for me uh in my particular area that I'm fishing a lot of times the colors is even narrowed down to the specific color that you should be getting bites on so monster bass is like killing the game not to mention uh, getting in touch with Rick and everybody at monster bass a lot of their pro guys they put together great videos to help educate you on how to fish these lures as well as uh, showing you different content how to rig certain things just little things like that so uh, check out Monster Bass on their YouTube channel and uh, go ahead, click that link, get you a subscription of Monster Bass. I promise you won't be disappointed. Uh, probably one of the best things I've done since I got home and got back into my, my bass fishing real heavy was getting a Monster Bass subscription. So that's all I have for this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Get out there, if it's not too hot, get out there on the water, do some fishing. If you are gonna go fishing, make sure you stay hydrated. Uh, plenty of water. Drink you some uh, some bucked up. Um, and have fun. Uh, don't stay out too long, cause you know, don't want you guys to get sick out there. So pull up under some shade or something, or just get out there for a couple hours. And then if the heat gets too much for you, then go ahead and get off that water. Don't want you guys to get hurt. I want you to be safe. And uh, enjoy your time out on the water. Uh, that's all I've got, guys. 
I'm gonna go do some more stuff around the house. I might go jump in the swimming pool so I can cool off. So, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the uh, bell, get notified anytime I do my videos. Uh, smash that like button if you like the video and please leave comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. What else do you guys wanna see? Uh, other than that, thanks for watching. And uh, see you guys next time in the great outdoors.